Thank you so much for being here today. I was hoping you could just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself and your connection with the University of Houston. So artistically, I'm known as Gonzo247, and I'm born and raised here in the city of Houston. I actually uh, grew up in the shadows of the university, right on the other side of 45, there's a neighborhood called Eastwood. Um, so that's where I grew up, and so U of H has always been in my eyesight. But on top of that, a lot of family have come through these. Um, I was just explaining that around the corner in the Houston room, I've been to so many quinceaneras, you know, weddings, all these family events have happened in this, in this, on this campus. And then my wife actually uh, graduated. Uh, she got her bachelor or her undergrad and, and uh, her master's here at UVA. So I have a long, awesome history with the university, and, and I'm really excited to see that it's, it's continued to grow. We're excited to see it grow and that you are so invested with us as well. So can you tell us a little bit about this piece and how it came to be? So this piece was uh, created in 2019 during the Frontier Fiesta days here at the university. And I actually had a really good time just being involved, but we wanted to bring something extra because there was live music, uh, there was uh, food. It was actually, it reminded me of a rodeo. So it was really exciting uh, to cook off and whatnot. But we wanted to bring in an, an extra element, so we did live painting. Uh, so this piece is on plexiglass, and the way we set it up is I was on one side of, of, of the plexiglass and the audience was on the other side. So I, for two days, it was visual entertainment where I was actually creating live, and people got to see it kind of come to life um, on the other side. So it's kind of painting in reverse. And for me, I like to paint live because I, I really draw inspiration from the moment. I draw inspiration from the environment, you know, so whatever's happening in my peripheral and what I'm experiencing, I like to funnel that energy into the artwork. And for me, it's, it's a great way to kind of capture a moment in time. Um, it's another reason why I like to work on plexiglass. I, I kind of view it as you're, you're capturing this, this single slice of, of experience and it's on a sheet of yeah. clear, transparent material. And so this is really like embeds the energy of that weekend. Now we can lives on forever. I love that we are part of that process as well. I think um, the sort of graffiti and that style of art, how does that, um, what appeals to you about that form of art? So for me, ever since I was a kid, you know, I was always artistically inclined, but it wasn't until I, I found graffiti, uh, I was like 12, 13 years old, uh, that is the moment where I, I really connected with a medium to create. Um, growing up, I didn't know anything about brushes. I didn't know what muslin what canvas was. I didn't, know what, I, didn't, I didn't know what any of these traditional materials were. But when I found out that I could create artwork using spray paint, it really just opened my, my world to, to be able to create, and especially instantly. Um, what I love about spray paint is you have an idea in your head, and then you just push the button, and you start moving your hand, and you can very quickly manifest a thought or an idea. And, and nowadays, you know, everyone has that instant gratification when they swipe their phone. We didn't have that back then. For me, it was more like, I have an idea in my head, I want to see it on the wall, and within seconds or minutes, I can, I can, I can make that happen. And that, that really stuck with me. And I love the, the energy that comes with basically creating art on the run, uh, because it does have that, that energy and that momentum that, that even when you're gone, it's still there. I, I love the connection between sort of like old school and new school technology. So do you use technology and screens and that sort of thing with your work now? Or are you still all just spray paint on the wall? You know, uh, I, I, I do have to keep up with the times. Yeah. Um, I am a little more old school in the sense that I, I like tangible. I like pencil. I like paper. I like things I can touch and see when I'm done with it. But at the same time, I have embraced the idea of going digital as in. Sometimes my mock-ups I do on, a, on an iPad just because I can, I can do a lot of things quicker versus having to do a full rendition in paper. Um, and it also, it, it is a cool way to can, keep this digital archive of your work. So, uh, it, you know, I'm, I, I, I like to dance around that line of tangible and digital. So when students walk by this particular piece, what are you hoping some other takeaways might be? So, so for me, this piece, again, it was done live, um, and, and, and a lot of my work, it definitely has a, an organic feel. It's, it's, it's constantly in motion, uh, hence the different arrows. Um, it, it definitely, it's a cycle. Uh, there's this infinity. Uh, it's kind of like uh, this. This represents, we, we all go through journeys in life, and life is never a straight line. It has these twists and turns and things that you may not have thought were going to happen, get thrown at you. 
and really it's all about how do you navigate that and then sometimes you have to turn yourself all the way around to, to figure out the right direction to go in uh, so this kind of represents energy of life and how we all cross paths at different points so you have all these different paths it's almost like remember the game of life mm -hmm. and you had all these really cool areas you can go through this is kind of the same idea where we all have our paths and every now and then we intersect with someone else we might not know exactly why at that moment we cross paths but there's been situations where I met someone 30 years ago and then today we're working together. You know, like it, sometimes it takes a while to figure out why you meet people in life. Uh, these little spheres kind of represent people. Um, so you never know where you'll be traveling, but you're always in motion no matter what happens. You're constantly moving forward. And it just really kind of gives you this idea that, that there is an end in sight. You might not know where that is, or you might not even see it, but just, you just have to have the faith that you're getting somewhere. You just gotta keep walking that path. I love that. That's great. I think, is there anything else you would like to say? Or, you know, if someone is watching this video, um, is there, you know, do you have a favorite piece here in Houston that you'd love them to check out or something you know, like that? For me, I, I just enjoy the fact that, that the university is opening up the hallways to, to integrate more art. Uh, you know, this is a beautiful building and to bring more art, literally where a student can have these interventions as they navigate the campus to, you know, to class and whatnot. I think that's the beauty of this whole thing where the art piece lives longer, it can touch more people. And when people have more access, direct access to art without, a lot of times people don't know, oh, there's a gal the Blaffers down there. People might not know that, or they don't know where to go or how to get to a museum or, but when you have art surrounding you, then every day is an artistic, beautiful experience. And that's what I love about this whole thing. Awesome, thank you so much.